Hi there guys, this is Trevor from RMK Outdoors and a really quick video, or at least I'm, I think it's going to be a quick video. I always kind of say that and it never ends up being one, but um, I just hiked out here in the completely wrong clothing uh, to talk about, and footwear, which I'm very big on, and socks actually. So we're going to talk about some of my favorite socks uh, because I did get some emails to me that were asking in my last video, my spring trail running kit. I plan to make a hiking kit as well, but people were asking why I like the socks that I listed, which were smart wool and then features. Um, features I like for running and kind of every day and then smart wool I really, really like for trail running and hiking, backpacking sort of thing. So these are my go-to socks, really. Um, I do have a darn tough pair here that I absolutely love as well. I just don't have as many. So smart wool, for me are some amazing socks. I'm gonna go over why I like merino wool, why I think uh, smart wool is kind of my go-to for this, and then uh, hopefully you guys, this answers some questions um, that you guys had. And then I'll probably plan on doing kind of like a, a technical what's in my hiking bag video where I'm gonna really talk about why I like this sort of stuff because it would be like a two hour long review if I did that. Um, so this is going to be kind of a first part of a different series or a series that I'm going to make of why I like the equipment that I'm using. So smart wool socks. Uh, I use the outdoor ones. This is actually um, a performance or uh, endurance one. And then this darn tough is just their quarter hiking sock. So typically the outdoor or the hiking socks are a little bit uh, more cushioned than their everyday or running socks. So I like that. Even when it's when it's warm, these things breathe extremely well. We'll get into why merino wool is such a good such a good fabric. Um, but smart wool, the outdoor, you really can't go wrong. This one I have here is the super light, and then this guy is the light cushion. So they have different levels of cushion, which then you know gives you different levels of insulation value and uh, breathability. So which depending on which way you go. So I like to stick around the light cushion. But I did recently get a mini, or uh, sorry, a ultralight cushion as well. So we sell these at the store I work at. Thankfully, I don't have to buy these for full price because they do come in. They are a little bit expensive. So uh, just this pair here, this ultralight is a $17 pair of socks. You know, I get a pretty good deal on them. And, you know, they really are, if you're, if you're looking at getting, you know, one or two good pairs of hiking or backpacking socks, this is definitely a place where you should not skimp. Feet are important when you're hiking or trail running or backpacking. Really, no matter what you're doing, and good socks can really make or break that. Obviously, if you're just going to work and coming home, you don't need merino wool all the time. However, it's it's still great. But when you're backpacking or hiking and you're out for multiple days at a time or however long, your feet are getting wet, getting dry. You don't know if it's going to be cold or, or super hot. So Merino Wool does a really good job at adapting. And that's what we're going to talk about is some of the features. So I definitely recommend Merino Wool for your socks. This was kind of a spur of the moment video. So I don't have any of this memorized or even close like some of my other videos. So we brought up a little cheat sheet here. I typed down why I think merino wool socks are the best. So for starters, merino wool is soft. It's not what a lot of people think of as wool. This is a very, very comfortable material that socks are made out of. This is, you know, everything gets more high speed socks, including it is very, very comfortable. It is not, it is not itchy. I've never had a problem with it being itchy. Um, but Merino wool is, is amazing. It's soft, it's cushioned, you know, you get the different levels. It's good there. Um, it's durable. It's durable because it's, it's coming from sheep that are, uh, that produce this wool to withstand the elements. So it's, it's just kind of like a naturally durable occurring, um, fabric. Uh, Merino wool is also sustainable. So, uh, Typically, merino sheep are sheared once or twice a year. It also doesn't need to be washed as, as many times, so it's therefore a little bit more friendly on the ecosystem. And then one of the biggest parts is merino wool, uh, it's warm. So it has a natural crimp to it, so it traps air, so it's naturally insulating. So obviously, you know, being able to insulate your feet is an amazing feature. Uh, it is also very breathable. So having that insulation value just built into this kind of fabric um, is amazing for, for long trips and uh, you know cold weather, obviously. And then it is also temperature regulating and moisture wicking. So that is a huge feature as well. So the moisture wicking, we all know what that is. Um, it helps wick sweat away from your body in those sweaty areas, whether it be you know top or base layers uh, in the groin, armpit, or feet. So that is a great feature. Um, 
and and really what you're paying for here, uh, you know, along with everything else. But really, this when you're backpacking or hiking for long distances and you need that moisture wicking, you know, if you don't have that and you have cotton uh, and you get really sweaty at night, if you're if you're damp, you're gonna get cold. So, which it is cold here. Uh, but I have some smart wool socks on. So um, I do have one more pair that I was gonna show here, but I decided to put it on because these socks weren't cutting it out here. So I had to survive to do this video for you guys. So I threw them on. Durable moisture wicking, that's very important. Another thing, another really, really big feature is that when merino wool gets wet, it still insulates. So if you are to get wet, um, say you're wearing normal cotton, right? And this is what I always tell people is when that gets wet, it takes forever to dry and it's cold. So what this does is if you do get wet, which feet can get wet when you're hiking or backpacking, they're still going to keep your feet not, I shouldn't say warm, but they're still going to have an insulating value to it. And then it will dry a lot, lot quicker than cotton and it will continue to keep you uh, warm while it's drying. So Right there, that feature, at least on a sock, I mean, base layers are a little bit different. Different. Hopefully you don't ever get like fully submerged, but it's really important on a sock. It's also breathable and antimicrobial. So uh, again, all of these features that I'm listing or all the attributes are purely beneficial for backpacking and hiking and, and anything outdoors. So, you know, when you're, when you can only have one or two pairs of socks and you're out for multiple days at a time, antimicrobial, breathability, insulation, these are all huge bonuses. So another good feature is that it doesn't stretch. So it's not like cotton where it will shrink and stretch. Uh, merino wool is pretty much how it's going to be out of the box. And uh, you know what to expect with the fit of merino wool, which is awesome. So we'll go back to the uh, moisture wicking ability. Then it also keeps you dry, which is important. And then in turn uh, helps, helps reduce blisters. So I really only have good things to say about merino wool in general. This is not a smart wool ad. This is just the type of sock that I use most. I, I get a good deal on them, so I end up buying them more. Um, and that's kind of what's in my in my kit right now is smart wool socks. As I said earlier in the video, I do have a pair of darn tough, amazing sock as well. These are both kind of the same type, light cushion, quarter, quarter here. I guess I could take one out, but very simple sock. I like these kind of quarter ones for um, hiking and backpacking to give me a little bit for that boot or shoe. And then I did get that super super lightweight one uh which i'm very excited to try so this was just meant to be a quick kind of informational video honestly to answer a couple questions that i did get um but if you guys like this kind of content this is what we do here at rmk outdoors we talk about gear we get outside we use it we do reviews and features uh if you like it backpacking hiking camping trail running uh, photography I'm starting to get into. So if you guys like this kind of content, uh, go ahead and hit like or subscribe. I know I probably repeated myself a little bit during this video, but it's cold and I felt a little rushed. So um, yeah, guys, this uh, look forward to a couple more features like this about independently what I use as a backpacking uh, loadout or hiking loadout. I really want to talk about that with you guys and go into into detail as to why I like this kind of gear and give you some give you some pointers. So thanks and uh, see you on the next one.